gunshot outside Salman's Bandra home. Attack planned in US, executed in Mumbai. Bishnoi gang orchestrated firing plot. Bhai on radar of gangsters again. Top focus on India first. Early on Sunday morning, five bullets hit a wall right outside superstar actor Salman Khan's residence. This wasn't a surprise even if it was a shock for the family because Salman Khan has been under threat from gangsters for many years now. And right here on India First, we're going to decode who may be trying to bump off Bhaijan. Before that, as always, the headlines. Clash of rallies in Kerala. Prime Minister Modi taunts Rahul with Crown Prince Jaib says he failed his family bastion and moved to Kerala. Rahul campaigns in Wayanad says BJP is trying to impose their ideology. Electoral bonds showdown reignites. Prime Minister Modi defends government's stand on bonds, says they were introduced to curb black money. Congress hits out, calls Modi the mastermind of extortion through bonds. Twin setback for Delhi's Chief Minister. Kejriwal's judicial custody extended till April the 23rd. Supreme Court denies Kejriwal plea to campaign, says it will hear his plea against arrest only after April the 29th. Tensions mount in the Middle East. Israel war cabinet huddles for a response to Iran's drone strikes. Iran warns of a stronger response if Israel retaliates. Conflict is simmering. And another hiccup for former US President Donald Trump becomes the first US president in history to face a criminal trial in the hush money case. Bullets fired on Salman Khan's residence. Thankfully, nobody was hurt, but the actual conspiracy apparently hatched not in Mumbai, not even in India, but probably somewhere in the United States. A conspiracist named Kalu, Lawrence Bishnoi, the gangster who sits in Delhi's Tihar jail and has been threatening Salman Khan since 2018. Here's what we found out, the inside details of the investigation just hours after those bullets hit. Threats, warnings and firing. Bhaijan is on the gangster radar. Bollywood superstar Salman Khan's house in Bandra in Mumbai, where he stays with his family, was attacked on Sunday morning. Five bullets were fired at his home at 5 a.m. when the actor was asleep in his room. After the firing, the shooters were caught on CCTV fleeing the spot. Sources close to the investigation tell India today that the shooters used a second-hand motorcycle for the attack. They allegedly did multiple recce's of the home before the firing. After firing five rounds, they abandoned the motorcycle and took an auto rickshaw to the Bandra railway station. From there, they allegedly took a train to Santa Cruz. Gangster Lawrence Bishnoi's brother Anmol has taken responsibility for the attack in a social media post that has since gone viral. The investigation has been transferred to the crime branch of the Mumbai police. Yesterday, several fans, owing to the fact that despite it being a Sunday, were prohibited and not allowed to stand here. However, you can see behind me a gypsy and several policemen in uniform who have been stationed outside Salman Khan's house in wake of the attack. Sources say the police have identified the main shooter as Vishal, also known as Kalu. The plot is believed to have been hatched in the United States. The shooters are said to have been hired by notorious gangster Rohit Godar. Godar is believed to have given Salman Supari to Kalu, who has been named in many previous murder cases. Police forces of Mumbai, Delhi, Rajasthan, Punjab and Haryana are actively searching for the members of the gang, 
who fired on Salman's home. The motive behind the attack is still unknown. After the few hours of the attack, the Lord Anmol Bishnoi took the full responsibility of the attack by sharing a Facebook post. And to mislead the investigation of the cops, virtual private network system has been used to convey the message that the Facebook post which is shared by Anmol Bishnoi was sent from Canada. With camera person Vaibhakon Gudkar, this is the Dipesh Tripathi for India Today, Mumbai. And I want to bring in India today's Mustafa Sheikh who joins us from right outside Salman Khan's residence in Bandra in Mumbai. Uh, Mustafa, uh, the police action following the firing incident is taking place not just in Maharashtra but across five states. What's the latest that the police is telling you? Have there been any recoveries, any detentions at all since the incident? Well, Ashif, what we are given to understand, first we'll show you the visuals. We are right outside Galaxy apartment where Salman's residence and on Sunday mo early morning, this is where the firing happened. And it's now a routine occurrence here that you get, you get to see a lot of police presence. You get to see a lot of security uh, guards, pol uh, police vehicles. Uh, Salman al already has a gun license and he travels in a bulletproof uh, uh, car. But yes, what has happened since the last few years with Salman Khan, that the accused and the people who are planning are known. But still, what the challenge in front of the state police is, which seems to exist is that this gang is able to find new members, young members, and not only Salman Khan. They are, ex they are involved in some Gurgaon uh, extortion of the businessmen, some other cases. So uh, it is one of the few cases of crime in which the accused is known, the plan is known, but still uh, what is being done to thwart that plan is under question. So that is, uh, you know, Im immensely challenging for the authorities, not only in Maharashtra, but across the state, as we were mentioning earlier, that the accused are known. And also there are some clues about who they are and they have to be apprehended. But at the same time, if these accused are apprehended, but what is the guarantee that yeah. there will be no more shooters or fresh shooters sent? Uh, to Sal maybe Salman's uh, Panvel farmhouse or here. And there are many family members of Salman. It's not only about Salman Khan. Mm. For example, Salim uh, Khan goes out yeah. for walk in this particular area at around 8.15 a.m. every morning and he had found a chit threatening Salman. So these are the questions which have been raised during the investigations. Um, many things are known. The purpose is known. Who's planning is it known? But how to foil these plans or yeah. how to stop the threat which is uh, uh, hovering over Salman Khan is a big question especially in front of Mumbai police who has to provide them, provide him security back to you. Okay, we're going to continue to track that very closely. Importantly, no arrests have been made just yet. But as you saw in that report that Mustafa has just sent us, uh, there are some leads that the police are following. They've got names, they've got locations as well. And hopefully there will be a breakthrough very soon. Mustafa, thanks very much for that update. Now, these latest shots fired outside Salman Khan's house have raised fears over what the Lawrence Bishnoi gang is actually capable of. It's been a history of many threats, some of them implemented, but it has raised a lot of fears about what they could finally actually achieve. The attack on Salman Khan's house is pointing to a deep conspiracy that is spreading across country from America to Canada and even California. First, let's look at the gangsters involved. Lawrence Bishnoi. He's in a Delhi jail and it is his gang that is believed to be behind the firing. Anmol Bishnoi. Lawrence Bishnoi's brother. He's taken responsibility for Sunday's attack at Salman's residence. He's in California. After the murder of singer Sidhu Musewala, he absconded using a fake passport. This is Rohit Godara. He is the one who had arranged weapons for the recent attack. He is believed to be hiding in America. But the person who posted on social media claiming responsibility for the attack has a Canada address. According to sources, the plan to open fire outside Salman Khan's house was hatched about a month ago. Anmol Bishnoi had given the responsibility of selection of shooters to Rohit Godara because Godara has shooters ready at all times. 
An ATS team was present at Salman's house on Sunday. It's conducting its own investigation. Since the case is related to Bishnoi gang sitting abroad, NIA has also got involved. NIA has asked for the file related to the case. With Divyesh Singh in Mumbai and Arvind Ojha in Delhi, Bureau Report, India Today. Now, despite the latest firing incident, despite police action across five states and this investigation continuing, Salman Khan is understood to have instructed his entire team not to let this probe, this investigation, hamper his schedule. So all his shoots, all his projects, all his commitments will, for the moment, continue as planned. Bollywood's Bindas Salman. Bollywood's Dabang Salman. Salman, who rules the hearts, has become the latest target of gangsters. The attack on Salman Khan's house made it clear that the notorious criminals have not given up on him yet. They have threatened him again and again sent letters containing threats from time to time. But there's been no visible fear on the superstar's face. Yes, Salman has definitely become more careful about his safety. Since the incident, Salman's family and friends have visited him at his Mumbai residence. He has reportedly told them that there's nothing to worry about and that he has no plans to shift out of his Galaxy Apartments home. He's made it clear to his family, friends and team that this latest shooting incident should have no impact on his schedule. Salman will continue to work, his shoots will go on as planned and his routine will remain the same as before, including his travel plans. Sources tell India today that Salman does not want to show that he is taking this threat from gangsters seriously. However, after this firing incident, Salman's security has been further tightened. He has also been given a license for a personal weapon. There is 24-hour security around Salman's house, with personnel being deployed across three shifts. Salman Khan had applied for a gun license in 2022 after receiving a threat letter. This request of Salman was forwarded by Mumbai police to DCP Zone 9. Following the recommendation of the zonal DCP, Mumbai police had issued him a weapon license. With Arvind Ojha and Divyesh from Mumbai, Bureau Report, India Today. When those bullets hit the wall outside Salman Khan's house, he and his family would have known that this isn't the first time that he's been under threat. The first time that Lawrence Bishnoi, the gangster, actually threatened Salman Khan was way back in 2018. And he has periodically revived that promise to exact revenge from Salman Khan. Take a look at this report. It's crucial to note that Salman Khan has received five threats in the last six years. And there was even one attempted attack at Galaxy with a small weapon, which fortunately ended without incident. This was the year when Salman Khan received death threats for the first time. Gangster Lawrence Bishnoi made the ominous declaration during his appearance in the Jodhpur court. We will kill Salman in Jodhpur itself. Salman Khan ka gare, Lawrence Bishnoi's special shooter, Sampat Nehra, made his first attempt on Salman's life. He arrived outside Salman's residence, Galaxy Apartment in Mumbai. However, the weapon he carried had limited range, prompting him to delay the attack. He then travelled to Haryana in search of a long-range weapon, before he could acquire it. The police apprehended him. After Sampat Nehra's failed attempt at Galaxy Apartment, this time, the assailants targeted the jogging park, just a short distance away from Salman Khan's father, Salim Khan's daily morning walking spot. 
A threatening letter was discovered on the bench where Salim Khan usually sat after his walks. The letter ominously stated that both Salman and his father would meet the same fate as Punjabi singer Sidhu Musewala, who had died exactly a month prior. Salman's manager received an email purportedly from Lawrence and Goldie Brar's associate, Mohit Garg. The email demanded that Salman hold a face-to-face -face conversation with Goldie Brar in Canada or face dire consequences, allegedly at the behest of Lawrence Pishnoi. It was declared to be the final warning, with severe repercussions promised if ignored. Mumbai police promptly filed an FIR against Lawrence Bishnoi, Goldie Brar, and Mohit Garg in response to this email. This threat issued to Punjabi singer Gippy Grewal came from a Facebook account bearing the image of Lawrence Bishnoi. However, Salman's name was also included in the threat, which once again promised fatal consequences. So if we tally up the four threats over the past six years and Sunday's incident, the attackers have breached Galaxy twice. However, in all these cases, except for Sampat Nehra's involvement in one, there has not been any significant investigation so far. But the police also faces challenges. The issue is that the alleged mastermind behind these threats and attacks, Lawrence Bishnoi, has been incarcerated in various jails across the country since 2014. Currently, he is in Ahmedabad jail. Following Lawrence, the second most influential figure in his gang, Goldie Brar has been residing in Canada for the past six years. What will the police do with someone who has already been apprehended and is in jail, like Lawrence Bishnoi? And how will they bring someone who is not in the country back from a foreign land? Since the bullet penetrated the galaxy this time, Mumbai police is treating this matter with utmost seriousness. Multiple teams are collaborating on this case, with the crime branch leading the investigation. In connection with this, a team from the crime branch may soon visit Ahmedabad jail to interrogate Lawrence Bishnoi. With Neeraj Vashisht from Gurugram and Dipesh Tripathi from Mumbai. Bureau Report, India Today. Thanks for watching. The news continues right here on India Today. India cools down in 10 seconds with Hexa Inverter, heavy duty air conditioner. Higher, more creation, more possibility. Intelligence meets art. Motorola H50 Pro. Hello, Moto. An unparalleled election coverage with the team that wins every election. From unmatched on ground reporting. To real-time poll updates. Stay tuned to the Maximum Channel for the maximum coverage. Platinum Partner Signature Finest Silver Elaichi, a premium product from Dilbag. Mankind Pharma, serving life. Intelligence Mates Art with the all-new Motorola Edge 50 Pro. Higher heavy duty air conditioners. Gold Partner. Dulux. Higher, more creation, more possibilities. Another BJP and the Congress. Or die battle. Elections. The heartbeat of the world's largest democracy.
covered by the political journalist with nearly four decades of experience. The man who understands the pulse of the nation. Join India's ultimate newsman. I will decode the complex political chess game that's at the heart of Indian democracy. Elections unlocked with Rajdeep Sardesai. Maximum analysis on the Maximum Channel. के नीचे हो आपके बैंक अकाउंट में हर साल एक लाख रुपया आठ हजार पांच सौ रुपया महीने का खटाखट 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 आता रहेगा और एक झटके से एक झटके से हिंदुस्तान से हम गरीबी को मिटा देंगे कांग्रेस के शाहजादे ने घोषणा की और वो वीडियो भी देखने जैसा है उन्होंने घोषणा की एक झटके में देश की गरीबी हटा दूंगा ऐसे लोगों पर कोई भरोसा करेगा क्या अरे देश पूछ रहा है आखिर ये शाही जादूगर इतने बरसों तक कहा छुपा था टू ऑफ द बिग प्रोमिस मेड बाय द प्राइम मिनिस्टर इन द घोषणा पत्र आर टू डू विद बुलेट ट्रेन एंड टू डू विद इंडिया बिकमिंग अ मैन्युफैक्चरिंग हब स्पेशली इन इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स एंड लीडिंग द चार्ज ऑन दीज फ्रंट इज द मिनिस्टर फॉर रेलवे कम्युनिकेशन इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स एंड इंफॉर्मेशन Uh, technology minister ashwini vaishnav now joins us live and exclusive on india today minister vaishnav thank you very much for your time and welcome prashkar i want to start by asking you about these bullet train corridors that have been planned for north south and east india could you give our viewers uh, some directional sense of where like for example chennai bangalore bangalore hyderabad where specifically in these regions are you planning uh, the new bullet train corridors how much thought has gone on why do you think these might actually be feasible projects to work on minister the first bullet train project has been is uh, right now being done been uh, being constructed in the western region and the as i have explained in the past a bullet train project is not just a transportation project it is basically a project by which the economies of cities get integrated and the multiplier impact is amazingly huge something what we have seen in japan we have seen in taiwan we have seen in a few other countries and the results are so very encouraging and the progress of the project is so good so and there is demand coming from practically every part of the country this is the basis on which honorable prime minister has declared today that three new bullet train projects will be started in the coming in the in the in in modi ji's third term uh, 